Wise Nubian and bring forth I. Man, it is painful to watch you guys argue. Um, this is symbolic. And so are you. Um, you guys both have uh, images of wisdom in your usernames. You know, Wise Nubian. Uh, there's wisdom right there, Wise. Um, and Nubian is an image, really. Well, it's kind of, I don't know. I, I don't know. What, uh, bring forth I. Yours is clearly an I as an image of wisdom. And then in your name, I see you're basically saying bring the I forth. So there's movement in your image, too. Um, the reason I bring this up is you guys just have uh, one factor is you guys have different uh, communication styles. You know, I mean, bring forth I. Yours is more visual. Why is Nubian? Yours is more oral. Um, so it's interesting to, to, to watch in that regard, though painful, you guys. Um, um, uh, you're both good guys. I could tell it. You know, Wise Nubian, I know you, you know, and I, I know uh, uh, Bring Forth I can tell you a little bit about Wise Nubian. I know he's dedicated himself to the community uh, in Bayview, Hunters Point, the Fillmore, uh, as well as Oakland, Berkeley, and, uh, and Richmond. Um, I'm from San Francisco. It's like watching... We're like all San Franciscans going through this torment, you know, uh, and uh, and the beach. I, I know how we could tell, you know, who's the real man among us. We can all go down to that beach and keep walking out in the water. And the first one to get sucked out by the under, undertow is, is the real man. Because <laughs> uh, I've been caught in that thing, man. And, I, I, you know, I, I, I had to, I barely escaped alive, you know, without getting pulled out. You know, so it, you get to kind of test your own uh, your own kind of courage. Uh, also, a uh, bring forth eye, man. You, you, I've been watching your videos. You know, you, you, you you're doing a quite a bit of a um, in, in dealing with the internal struggle. You know, and wise newbie, and I think you're uh, you're you're secure in your, your inner identity in that regard. But you're you know, you're fighting a practical battle outside. You know. Um, where am I? Where am I going to start, man? I'll start by you know Ed Grott made a response and talked about um, the chemical DMT, you know, which he said uh, is um, been declared uh, illegal. Um, man, I think the most dangerous chemical in the whole world is testosterone, and and lately YouTube has just been drenched in testosterone. Uh, you know, I don't know. Maybe it's maybe it's not testosterone alone. You know, maybe testosterone just creates passion, but mixed with adrenaline. It, I don't know if it becomes a separate chemical or the two just work together, but um, man, whatever it is, it, it, it's, it's a hell of a drug. Should be That's what we should outlaw, that combination of testosterone and adrenaline. Um, man, it's, it's, it's fascinating watching your guys' conflict. I really would like to see you guys resolve it because you're both good guys. You know? um, you're both offering each other wisdom. Um, you know, wise newbie, and you're always offering people knowledge and wisdom. You, uh, uh, you're a teacher. I, I don't perceive you as a leader. The, uh, you have leadership qualities. You know, you have charisma and, and all that. But I see you as teaching, you know, teaching everybody, really, though, focus mainly on your own community. And, uh, uh, but anyway, you, you're teaching. You're offering wisdom um, of the kind that you've worked out. And bring forth I, you're offering help to wise newbie too and saying I can help you be a better person, you know. Um, though I gotta say you're being a lot younger than wise newbie and it's kinda hard for me to hear just you know, you can call it ageism or not, but I'm I'm programmed with this, you know, respect for elders thing. So I hear a young man say, I can help you be a better human to an older man, I think, uh, you know, uh, but I, you know, who's to say, you know, you might have greater wisdom. Um, I think you guys approach things, as I said, a, a little bit differently. Um, uh, wise Nubian, you're really into the practical, you know, uh, a man, it's interesting listening to your guys' definition of manhood, it's fascinating. You know, we have to learn how to grow food to survive. And um, and bring forth I. You're you're on an a academic path, and you're talking about the importance of the uh, the abstract stuff, which actually I'm very drawn to. Um, some of the some of the most amazing insights I've had this year have been game theory, uh, shocking insights, uh, and they're abstract, but they apply. Um, I think there is universal truth, you know, and I think that actually, if you want to get to the really really abstract stuff, it really helps to pursue a formal education. Um, because that's where you'll get that knowledge. You can't take a mathematics course at night. You know, you got to go during the day, which means you got to not work to do it, or you got to work at night or something. Uh, anyway, I, I'm drawn to the real abstract stuff. Um, uh, 
But let me tell you, it's all based on conditions. When it comes to planning our lives, man, if if the economy collapses completely and the environment collapses completely, I'm going to Wise Nubian and I'm going to say, man, teach me how to grow a tree. You know, that becomes what's necessary for survival. You know, if the economy continues to steam ahead for the next 50 or 60 years, you know, of course, I'd pursue an ac uh, academic degree. Um, uh, if I had legal problems, man, I'd go to J. Rider 4. And uh, if it ever got to the point where we were really restructuring the country and really reasserting all our common freedoms, I'd go to Ed Grott, man, and I'd say, Ed Grott, show me what should be in a constitution to, get, to guarantee the rights, the individual rights of the citizen, citizenry um, against the abuse of government. You know, it's all conditional. You know, you, you know, what I'm saying is you guys are all right. Everybody's right. It's like we've all got a different piece of the truth and we're beating each other over the head with it and saying, I'm right, I'm right. It's like watching a religious war, you know. Uh, Religious-wise, I'm a, you know, I, I'm agnostic and I was raised atheist. I, uh, I do my best not to have faith. I, I know, Wise Nubian, you, you base... Uh, you predicate a lot of uh, your identity on a sort of blind faith. Um, I don't understand really well. I'd like to talk to you about that sometime to see to see what you mean. I, I know it's not religion. Um, I sort of uh, in any way. I, I've spent a lot of time just eradicating faith uh, and trying to go by science. Um, uh, what was I going to say? Oh, so here's my little worldview just to add it so I can add mine to the mix, you know, because uh, the more variety, the better. I really believe in, I shouldn't say believe because it's a, it's a, it's a scientific theory and it should be accepted or rejected or modified based on evidence. But it, I'll say I believe. I believe in evolution. I think we all started from a common ancestor in Africa, I don't know how many tens of thousands of years ago. I then believe that parts of us spread out and migrated across the planet. And as we did so, we encountered different conditions of the earth and we had to physically adapt to those conditions or die. So, some people went to where there was very little light, their skins turned light. Some people were in areas with heavy sunlight, their skins darker. Uh, I don't know what color people started out. I have no idea and I, I don't think we'll ever find a record of that, though I'd like to know. Um, in any event, in any event, uh, we just keep adapting, man. You know. Now we also develop cultural forms to help us survive. Because if you are in a desert versus in a really lush area, it's going to take a different social structure to to survive. You know. So you create different cultural forms, and some cultural forms are uh, basically not antagonistic to nature. Other cultural forms are antagonistic to to nature and the culture we're living in right now is one that's antagonistic to nature and uh, that is spreading all over the world so we've got to do something about that um, whether it's going to be on the local level like Wise Nubian is contemplating uh, uh, I know Wise Nubian you have a whole, a whole big plan involving um, uh, uh, green energy and self-sustaining communities or whether that's going to be um, developing tech, tech, incredibly powerful technology to, to uh, try to undo some of the damage, which requires a you know, more academic bent. Um, and uh, uh, you know, just chiming in, you know, jumping back before, if the economy goes mid-round and starts to go down a little bit, I'd want to know a trade. You know, there's an old saying saying, always keep something you can do with your hands. Um, unfortunately, I am not mechanically inclined. <laughs> I can't. I used to have a car, you know, and whenever it would break down, I couldn't do anything with it. I, I'd open up the hood and just stare at it. Other people could jump right in there and move things, you know, do do do, fix the car, not me, man, close the hood. Burn a candle on the hood, man. That's all. Just burn a candle. Uh, that's about all I could do. Um, so, I mean, we all have different abilities, too. I'm wandering a bit. I apologize. Also, I tend to think and explore thoughts while I talk. Um, so that's going to, of course, take things sideways. I apologize if I get too skitzy. Um, I'm going to have to make another video. I'm going to close this one down and make a second video. Thanks, you guys. Talk to you real soon.